Mexicans get a way longer leash than anybody else. Yes. As they should. Yes. That's your job is to talk shit. Yes. Modern day philosophers. And even what... if it's kind of bombastic and ridiculous and out there and totally extreme, it's like these is jokes. Yeah. And this right? is I was talking to uh, Jordan Peterson about this recently, but like it's the importance of play. It's like human beings, we like to play with the things that we're uncomfortable with, that we we fear, right? Like Halloween, the whole idea of Halloween is playing with death. Like we're terrified of dying. We're terrified yeah. of like our parents dying, our children, God forbid, dying. So we have a whole holiday, which we didn't use to dress up as like football players. It used to be like skeletons and that kind of shit. Yeah. It was like, let's play with this thing we're terrified of. Mm. We do it with, uh, when you go to like a Disney World or some shit, you go on these roller coasters, you're terrified sure, of it. Sure. But we, and that's what comedy really is. It's playing with emotions that scare us, ideas that scare us. And doing it in a way where we can all laugh and experience it in a safe way. So when it happens in real life, mm -hmm. we're a little bit more ready. Mm -hmm. and that's why it's existed for fucking probably thousands of years. People have been busting balls forever. When you're with your guys and you're with your guys in the troop, there's no softball jokes. No. It's the no. most savage thing. Yeah. Oh, no I'm question about it. Your father, your, father, yeah. your, boy your sexuality. How you, yeah, I, I wish, well, no. I, I, I haven't, obviously, I haven't done any, um, any, any service, but I wish that... I wish that people could see what the camaraderie is in these troops because from my understanding, from my friends who have served, my father served, mm -hmm. there's no, it's like everybody loses their identity that they have outside. And all the, oh, you're Puerto Rican. The, the, the white guy will say the craziest thing about a Puerto Rican. The Puerto yeah. Rican say the craziest what? thing about a Jewish guy. Yeah. And it's like. Dude, I was, I'm was i Middle Eastern in the Army. Oh, yeah. yeah me you too. Were, you're talking about like, it, it, let it rip. Yeah. Well, yeah. I was in 9-11. Yeah. Yeah, you understand? Yeah, yeah. Yo, you, earn, you, guys, you earn your stripes. Bro, well, I was in like. And <laughs> I'm, I'm, I remember but, as it was happening, people were like. Yo. Vinny, aren't your mom and dad from where these people are from? Yeah, and I was yeah, like, oh, yeah. shit, here we go. But it was great, it was though. Oh, what, it was ball, you know, ball, because I fought back. Yeah, if, ball. If, you can, if you can take it, it's yeah. really going to build some character if you oh, can yeah. take it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, late night, 2 o'clock, you're drunk, just, you know, talking calling shit. each other out, talking shit. Yeah. But if any of that was recorded. Forget it. Forget about it. Oh, I mean, it's canceled, done. Finito. Oh, but Finito. those relationships you 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 have in those moments are so beautiful because you're saying exactly what you feel jokingly yeah. to another person. Yeah. Exactly. You're not putting on like a slight facade. So then you get to build these like really deep connections, and that's that's always what I've felt like. Even with comics, you see that like we say kind of whatever to one another. People I've worked with, and it's like I want to build, I want to build a world where we can be almost 100% honest with one another because mm -hmm. then I'm a ride for you no matter what. You're going to ride for me no matter what because you really know me. I'm not being a politician about it. I mean, that's, right. to be honest, what Trump, I think, exposed about politics. He was playful up there with a bunch of people faking, and it was so hard to not look at him when all these other people were trying to be like like Jeb Bush, trying to be all professional, yeah. Yeah. and he's and he's just clowning Jeb. Yeah. Yeah. He's like, look how far down you are. <laughs> that was yeah. amazing. He's like, Blow wake up. Yeah, wake yeah, yeah, up. Yeah, yeah. He's taking a nap. Yeah. Yeah. The busting is he's a comedian. He's well, Andrew, I think what you're talking about, because I did stand-up comedy for many years, and then I got into finance and all that, but one of the things I used to always say, because I used to make fun of this person and that person, is like, it's not racist if you make fun of everybody. Yeah. If anybody can get it at any given time, it's not yeah. racist. You're just... Talking shit. Yeah. The thing with Kanye, it's nope. It's just the Jews. That's like, yeah. well, then you're just an anti-Semite and you're a Jew hater. Okay. And there's no jokes. And there's, there's no, no jokes, jokes there either. That's why it's not that funny. Other Jews want to be made Netanyahu. fun of. Yeah. Like Jews, Jews like jokes. Invented stand-up comedy, Andrew. <laughs> you know that. Jews control the media. <laughs> <laughs> and, and and going off what you said, Adam. So and, right. I, and I think the beauty, like, and going off what you said, uh, Andrew, was infamous. The the special that you did, which was fucking, dope, it was bananas. Thank you, man. Thank the, you. the the to, to one a compliment to, to open. This is what real comedy is, and this is real. And I know you know this, and Pat and them appreciate it. You opened your special <laughs> yeah. with crowd work, yeah, and for all the yeah, people yeah. that are out there, this guy, you're taping this thing. The money's mm -hmm. been it's, yeah, yeah. it's it's not like if you went up and it didn't work. Cut, Andrew, go back. No, no, no. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is a one take shot. The guy yeah, walks yeah. out. He's busting this person's balls. Yeah. The Latina in the front. Yeah. And 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 nailing off of what you just said. Yeah. You hit everybody. Yeah. The black guy, the Mexican chick, yeah. the white guy. Yeah. And and I, I think it's beautiful. Number one, number two. We're they're slowly trying to take that shit yeah. away from us, which is like yo yo time out. This actually brings us together. Yeah. You fuckers are trying to separate us. The guy's going up there on a special and busting balls like you were in the cellar or you were in. Yeah. And it felt it felt like I'm like, okay, this dude's having a blast. And That's shit what on I everybody. wanted, man. Like, I, for, what I learned from from doing comedy is that like, and I'm very fortunate that I have a very diverse audience. 
like white people found me after black people and Latinos because I started doing guy code and then podcast with Charlemagne the God. You guys know Charlemagne yeah, the God, sure. of course, one of the most brilliant radio personalities in history. And we were doing a podcast, so black people were the ones who came out to my shows when I was on the road initially. Blacks, like Latinos, and like some white people knew me from the MTV stuff. And then when I did Rogan, and when I started to have more like viral success online, that's when white people found me. So for me, I was always very comfortable also just growing up in New York. Just This is right. how we made fun of one another. Like my friend group was diverse and we weren't just going to not make fun of the Dominican kid. Like he's going to get it like everybody else. <laughs> so, so what I've realized is that if you're making fun of someone to their face and they're laughing, it's very hard to be offended on their behalf. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's easy if it's just yeah. white people making fun of other yes. people, and then you go, oh, this is messed up. But when you're doing a joke about black people and the black people are in the audience their face, laughing, yeah. laughing yes. yeah. it's the people, you know what it is, Andrew? It's the people that are watching that interaction and going, oh, that's right, ra he's racist. Mm -hmm. And he's like, bitch, shut up. You can't even say it if she's laughing. She's fucking laughing yeah. at it, and you're pissed yeah. off, and you're not, and you're, 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 like a, you're a white person, make it, you're, you're upset about this. Yeah. Leave it alone. So with all the craziness taking place, I believe future looks bright. If you believe future looks bright, get your latest future looks bright hat of Valuetainment. It says future looks bright here, future looks bright here. We got them in white, we got them in black, we got them in red. Our black on black sold out. These are about to sell out. If you haven't ordered one yet, we had a person in Michigan bought one, then he bought three. Then when those three people weren't in the office, they had to order 58 of them because people wanted the future looks bright hat, especially during times like this because ain't nobody saying Future Looks Bright. To order your Future Looks Bright hat, click over here. And to watch the entire podcast, click here. Take care, everybody.